Uh, we don't welcome people who want to use uh, our, our legal system to evade the, uh, evade the law here in India. So uh, let me be absolutely, uh, absolutely, absolutely clear about that. We have a, a very strong view in the UK that we, 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 we don't tolerate uh, extremist groups uh, setting up uh, in the UK with a view to causing um, uh, threatening uh, other countries, uh, threatening India. Uh, but what we've done in, in particular as a, as a result of this visit is set up a, uh, an anti-extremist uh, task force to see what more we can do to uh, help India uh, in, in that particular respect. And on the, the, the two individuals that you mentioned for the extradition cases, I think um, we have, there, are, there are legal technicalities that uh, have made it very, very difficult. But what I can tell you is that the, uh, the UK government has ordered their, uh, their extradition. And we have said that from our point of view, we want them uh, to be uh, taken back to, to India uh, for trial. And... <laughs> perhaps I should just say, you know, perhaps going back to, to Mason's point, uh, we, we, you know, we, we welcome uh, people who uh, who have talent and, and, and brilliance coming from India to, to the UK. We, you know, we don't we don't welcome. I want to make it absolutely clear now, uh, we don't welcome people who want to use uh, our, our legal system to evade the uh, evade the law here in India. So uh, let me be absolutely uh, absolutely clear about that.